Welcome to Switched On Schoolhouse, a CD-ROM based homeschool curriculum from Alpha Omega Publications. Switched On Schoolhouse Physics is a high school science course that is typically included in a 12th grade course of study and includes units on kinematics, work and energy, light, electric currents, atomic and nuclear physics, and much more. Now let's take a look at a physics lesson to see how concepts like these are covered. In a unit entitled Introduction to Waves, let's look at a lesson called Wave Phenomena. Most switched on schoolhouse lessons begin with a brief introduction and a list of objectives for the lesson. These objectives help students stay focused on important lesson content and provide parents with an effective way to measure mastery of lesson content. At the beginning of most lessons, your students will also encounter a list of vocabulary words that will be used throughout the lesson. We've included several activities to encourage mastery of these important words. For example, students can hear the correct pronunciation of each word. Refraction. Reflection. In addition, the vocabulary arcade games encourage mastery of the vocabulary words by providing practice in the correct spelling of each word and in matching each word with its definition. Let's look at a sample. Spell the word. Reflected wave. R E F L E C T E D space W A V E. Flashcards allow students to easily review the words and their definitions. After this introductory material, your students then move independently through the lesson, reading the text-based instruction and utilizing the multimedia features that have been provided. Experiment videos like this one can help students understand the concept that is being taught. Today we'll take a look at refraction of waves. We'll do two experiments that you can easily do at home. And here's all you need to do both. A pencil, two quarters, two glasses, and some water. The way we see things is because of the fact that light is a wave. And when those light waves are bent or refracted, it changes the way we see. Here's a glass that's half full of water. And this pencil looks ordinary enough, but notice what happens when I insert the pencil into the water. It bends the pencil. Well, not really. What's happening is that the light waves are being bent or refracted as they come out of the water and come to the eye. The waves from the part of the pencil that's not in the water reach our eyes first, and the bent or refracted waves take longer to get to our eyes. That's because water and air are two different media with two different densities. The light waves travel slower through the water because it's more dense than the air. Now let's see what happens when we put quarters into one empty glass and one filled with water. These two quarters are identical. I'll drop one quarter into each glass. But look, now the quarter on the left is higher than the quarter on the right. Actually, it just looks that way because of the refraction of the light waves. And that's refraction. More than 25,000 engaging multimedia activities have been included in Monarch Lessons and are designed to engage student interest and bring learning to life. The addition of these interactive activities encourages learning by allowing students to become actively involved in the lesson presentation. Two waves approach each other with the same frequency and amplitude. As they begin to interfere, the waves begin to combine, increasing the overall amplitude. As the waves are exactly superimposed, 
the overall amplitude is equal to the sum of both individual amplitudes. As the waves pass, they continue on the same as before they interfered with each other. Two waves approach each other with the pulses that are exactly 180 degrees out of phase. As they begin to interfere, the pulses begin to combine to cancel each other out. As the waves are exactly superimposed, they completely cancel each other out, giving a zero amplitude. As the waves pass, they continue on as before, since the energy is stored in the medium. At the end of the lesson, the student is presented with a series of questions that provide a review of lesson content. Questions are presented in a variety of formats, including matching, Fill in the blank, true and false, multiple choice, multiple select, click and place, Good essay questions, and many more. 85 to 90 percent of student work is graded instantly by the program. Good answer. Answers are automatically saved as the student works through the questions, and immediate feedback is given after each question has been answered. Good if a parent answer. has set the program to allow for multiple attempts, students will be looped back through the lesson to answer questions that were marked wrong on the first attempt. The lesson is complete when all questions have been answered correctly or you when the student the right has answer. exhausted his allowed attempts on each question. The student can then return to the home page to continue through the rest of his daily assignments.